Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, webinar hosted by Magna Infotech Career Services. Uh, as Magna Infotech is a leading platform aimed to bridge the gap uh, between growing expertise and growing industry expectations. So our prime objective is to provide IT skills training to professionals across the various technology domains, align them to a skill uh, that most suits to the organization today while also preparing them for the future industry trends. So today's webinar is uh, all about Big Data Hadoop. Big Data Hadoop technologies are a short hit service market expertise for growing of compound annual uh, growth rate CGR of 26% from 2018 to 2025. The annual uh, spending is projected is reach 48.6 billion in 2016. Hadoop, which has been almost uh, synonymous with big data, is uh, projected to grow at 58.2% CAGR. Key players like uh, Cloudera, Amazon Services, and MapR Technologies Platform Computing. So today webinar uh, will cover the range of topics around big data and Hadoop, including the uh, master slave of architecture, Hadoop core components, map reducing program, and Hadoop ecosystem. So before starting our uh, webinar, I'll just introduce our trainer today. Her name is Bhavana. Almost 12 years experience she has. So she'll be giving her brief introduction and she will take over the webinar today. So Bhavana, just over to you. You can just start off. Yeah. Thank you, Prashant. Very good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bhavana here. And Prashant has already given you the introduction. I would be giving a webinar on webinar on data, and today we'll be learning about what exactly the data is about, and who are the big data domains, and how for the big data job trends we have, and how do you choose your career path, and the big data certification courses we offer, and how do you go ahead with your learning path? Okay, so the first and the foremost request is. Instead of taking less like a webinar, I would request everybody to be communicating to your chat messages. In case if you have any doubt, you can give me a chat message and ask me for the doubts. And if you want to have a clarification, anything, you can do that. Okay? So let's make it as an interactive session. That becomes very easy for me also to what exactly we can explore from this particular webinar. Okay? So I hope everybody got this point, right? So we shall start off this. And uh, so the first and the foremost thing is, will be as you know, the topic is about big data, right? So what do you think the big data is all about? You guys have any idea about it? Anybody? You can give me a chat message there in which I can just go through that and you can, no problem. Okay, no issues. Yeah, large amount of data, that's great. So where are you getting all this large amounts of data? We will <clears throat> Fine, I'll go ahead. Not a problem. Thanks for that information. It's a large amount of data. In cloud, oh, that's great. Wonderful. Yeah, in cloud. Not unable to hear you. Uh, is it clear right now? Uh, my thing is, I mean, my audio is clear, I believe. It's clear. Yeah, fine. Now is it clear? Are you able to listen? Fine. Thank you so much. Thanks for the information. Okay. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to understand what exactly this particular big data is. Previously also we had a data. I think everybody know about what exactly data is, right? So when we talk about data, we used to, I mean, I'm talking about before internet. Before internet was, I mean, thoroughly used by each and every person. We know about actually what exactly is data is. We thought about, I mean, we had a kind of a, Reasoning saying that whenever you have a data available, we used to store the data in a particular order. That is in a rows and columns. 
in a table kind of a format, right? So, but what is uh, whenever you store the data? Let's take an example of a banking system. No idea. Uh, it should be. Now, is it clear? Is it clear right now? Please give me a chat message. Not able to hear. Oh. Can you please uh, log in yourself because I'm already connected and um, Yeah, there is an internet issue, but I hope everybody should. Is it everyone? You are not able to hear? Oh, God. Huh. Yeah, you are able to hear, is it it? Okay, thank you. Right. Fine. So, what we are talking about, we used to store the data in the form of a rows and columns. That we call it as a database. Whenever you have a particular data, when you look into the insurance system or whenever you go to the banking system or the share market or hospital management and everything. Yeah, thank you. So, everything, we used to store the data in a proper way, in a structured format. We used to have the data in a structured format way in which we used to store the data in the form of rows and columns and we used to store them either in Oracle database, MySQL, SQL Server, all these we used to store the data, Lotus, Lotus and all this. But what happened was as internet was introduced, everybody started using internet and they wanted to use the data in a much faster way rather than in a, uh, well, I mean I would say, the data was used in an unstructured way, unstructured way in the sense like, what I'm trying to do is, I'm, we are trying to send the messages, right? We used to send. So you're not able to hear me. Mm. It should be, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it should be clear right now. Is this clear right now? From my side, there is no disturbance at all and the net is also connected properly. If you have any problem, please log in again. Okay, that's a please request. Okay. So, when internet was introduced, what happened is everybody wanted to use this particular data. So, when they wanted to use this data, what we used to send our greeting cards to send messages through <coughs> mail, okay. So, first and the foremost thing was, we used to use a mail, Yahoo mail. When we were using this Yahoo mail, people not only sending the text messages, but also they included animation kind of a greeting card. They used to send the information via uh, animated pictures and everything. So, that is where a question came out. How do we store this particular unstructured data? We know that we can store the structured data using RDBA or RBS, but how do you store this particular unstructured data? Unstructured data means you don't have a defined size of it and you don't have a definite structure. Structure in the sense like when you, I think, uh, when you, whenever you're working with databases, we say, uh, let's say you're creating a employee details, okay? You give, how do you give the employee details? You say, employee number, integer, Employee name as var, car, employee salary as again uh, <coughs> double. All this we used to give it in a correct format. I mean, the column name, its data type. What is the column name and what is the data type? We know it what kind of actual data is, in which format we have it, and how do we store? 
okay but once this unstructured data has developed that is some in the uh, animated pictures and uh, videos and audios it is in a different format so you should be able to store this kind of an unstructured data also and also you should be able to process it processing this is like you should be able to know how many bytes of information it is going to store and also how whenever you require you should be able to have number of copies of this particular data so this is where the problem has occurred uh, with yahoo guys when they were uh, really and went into yahoo mail and other uh, uh, other applications so the first and the foremost question was how do you store this unstructured data because the, this unstructured was was developing a lot rather than the structured data because everybody were uh, just started using internet so much they used to not only sending the mails with animations and pictures but also they started off just apps like facebook instagram and all this but and amazon and everything has come for by whenever you wanted to purchase anything everything e marketing has becoming very fast okay so this is how the data has increased tremendously so this data whatever you are going to get a bit which is not in a correct format that we call it as big data So when you look at this particular slide, the day, uh, slide whatever we have here, big data is a term for the collection of data sets. So large or complex, it is very complex that it becomes difficult to process. Difficult to process using on-hand database management tools or traditional data processing applications. So how do you do this? So over millions of years, 23 exabytes of information was recorded and replicated in 2002. You might have wondered why is this replication? Replication means nothing but the duplication of the data. Why would we do this duplication of the data? Why is it required? Is it a part of Hadoop or uh, not a big data and all? We will discuss in coming slides. Not to worry about it. But only thing I am trying to tell you is so much of data was recorded and every for every seven days we used to transfer so much of data. Okay. So this is the term we used to have as big data. So the person who uh, the one of the developer in Yahoo who was a person called Duff Cutting. He is the person. He thought, why don't I create a separate cluster for storing this unstructured data or semi-structured data, and uh, why don't I use use this particular semi-structured data and unstructured data place it in a different format and process this particular data okay that is what he thought and his name is duff cutting he is the person who started off giving the name to the solution to this big data he given the solution to big data as naming it as hadoop okay and uh, Nowadays, when you have so much of data available, where are we using this data? I mean, who are the domains? So we'll be using, we'll be getting this big data. Application domains are who? Web and e-tailing, telecommunication, even in garment and healthcare, finance and ba- uh, banking, and also in the retail marketing applications, we are using this big data domains. So here, what are the recommended? So when you go for web and e-tailing, then you go for eBay. Search qualities like Google will be using. Ad targeting like Facebook. IAB for abuse and click and fraud detection whenever you have. So these are the d- different domains in which we are we are getting a lot of. These are the big data domains. And then you have custom, churn prevention, order flow, network performance operations. calling data and analyzing the network this is according to the telecommunication so different companies they are nowadays are able to give you the brand the connections wifi connections and everything so that they wanted to make their customers more and as the customers are increased the data whoever are getting connected to the those particular communication has become uh, more and more customers have been increased mm. now you have to check it because i'm not getting any error i mean i'm not getting any 
problem from other ruggers. You have to re-log in once, please. Try to do that. Because here we are perfectly connected and everybody are able to hear this. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Fine. So we'll go ahead. So these, we need to have the customer based also. Yeah. So thank you. So what is happening? So you have different customers available for Airtel, Vodafone and all this, right? So how, how is this particular big data is used? So they focus on the client's interest. The client interest is what? They wanted to have a faster network. The performance wise also they want the network performance very good because nowadays you can see everybody are going ahead with uh, not all, uh, they are not depending on ETL. ETL you right now, you know that? What is, what do we mean by ETL? Extract, transform and load. Previously we used to do this for processing using the databases. But now we are not depending on the ETL processing. We are directly going to the streaming processing. You might have seen in the entertainment, the streaming process. When you go into these uh, channels, you might have find this Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar and all that. What is happening? The data has been streamed so much that nobody is trying to extract the data, load the data and transform that particular data. Okay. So that is the situation right now. So we wanted the every, every response has to be within seconds. We are not waiting for minutes or not even. But we wanted to proceed all the things and process the data within fraction of seconds. That is the requirement right now. Okay. So even why do we shift ourselves to different uh, telephone connections? We go for geo because we get fast access. And we also see that what are the messages we are going to send it or what are the response. We get it in a faster way and also we are nowadays opting for the streaming mechanism. Right. So this is one of the big data domain, the telecommunications. Okay, then coming to the next one, what is the next domain? The garment one, right? So you can see that we, everything, whatever we do through, uh, through share marketing or the internet RBI is going to consider every banking system, right? So whenever you wanted to purchase or deposit or buy anything, everything you're doing through online transaction itself, isn't it? So when you're going for online transactions, there should be something, a kind of a the application wherein which we should be able to find the cyber security for it, okay? And also we should be able to go ahead with the fraud detection also. Somebody is doing some kind of a fraud or some, we should be able to do that. And this processing also should be done within fraction of seconds. And when it comes to the welfare schemes and also for the political campaign especially. Because nowadays what is happening, every time, whatever the political news they wanted to do, or whatever the information they wanted to pass, they are going through the media. And the media is such a kind of a thing through the news channels and everything. Every second they are going to pass the information as a streaming information. That is, whenever there is a live chat going on, the... <coughs> The citizens of India, they want to give all their comments when you look into this Republic TV and all. So that they makes a lot of potential information, a lot of potential information when they go for the political campaigns. So this is garment is one of the big data domains where it is generating, where it is required. Okay. And then you might have seen about the healthcare and life insurance also. So healthcare information and... Uh, uh, healthcare service quality improvements and drug safety. So you might have seen nowadays other important aspect is the health and life sciences, right? So why you think that uh, the latest medicine, whatever is coming up with for a particular disease, they're going to grab that particular information and include that in their hospital management and also they make sure that the, all the citizens would get information about all this quality improvements, whatever that hospital has. Okay. So even the healthcare and life in sciences are also using the big data domain. So these are the different domains in which we are using the big data. As I've already discussed about banking and finance services, we'll just go into the next one that is retail. You know it very well. So when you go for this <coughs> Flipkart and Amazon and all this, so these are all the retail uh, series, these are all the point of sales transaction and all those we'll be doing there. And we also take care of our, of our customer analysis also. And we make sure that we are going to make the customer satisfied with what are the product has been done through online. Okay. So this, these are the biggest areas in which we are using the big data. Okay. 
So th as we know now, everybody are using this big data. I mean, every I mean, every applications backend is one kind of a big data domain right now. So how do we do the job trends? How do we have the job trends in big data? So that's the question, right? So you have how about the big data job trends? So when you look into this particular chat, you would understand. So it's going to be more and more by the time 2020. It's going to be increased so well. We require lot of uh, big data developers as well as big data architects. We require lot of big data developers and big data architects. So what are you having a question? So if I want to learn this big data, I want to become a big data developer. Uh, my background is different. I'm not. Really, I doesn't have any uh, uh, skills like Java programming skills or C sharp dotnet programming skills, or I don't have much on to hands on with. Uh, the C++ command and all that. That's not required when you really wanted to become a big data developer. I am going to discuss about what exactly the pay request if you want to become a big data developer. That we are going to learn in the coming up slides. Okay. So, we'll just go into one of the slides and check over here what exactly you'll be finding as a big data and Hadoop job salary one. So, you can just see here. So according to the UST average salary, you can just imagine what exactly the salaries are. The data analyst engineer, Hadoop architecture, data scientist, big data architect, Hadoop developer consultant, big data engineer, Hadoop administrator, big data developer, and also Hadoop developer. So you have a lot of scope when you're really going to the Hadoop architect and big data architect. Okay. So we learn about how do you become this this big data, how do you, how do you build your career because you have so many so many opportunities are having over here in big data. Okay, so how do you have your careers in big data and Hadoop? Okay. So these are the different ones. So you have as a work as you can work as a big data uh, developer, big data architect, Hadoop administrator, data analyst, and data scientist. So the first and the foremost one is what? The big data developer. Okay, so when you go into this one, yeah, so we talk about first the big data architect. What does this big data architect would do? He's going to design, implement, and integrate big data, integrate big data solutions within the IT enterprise. So how, he, how does he do this? How does he do? I'll give you an example over here. So let's say the previously uh, we'll take a simple uh, example of uh, uh, the Flipkart itself. Okay. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to sell all the items to the website. Okay. E uh, e site only. Website only. So previously now we have they have lot of trends coming out, right? So first they should analyze. What should they analyze? They should collect all the information about the customers' information what exactly the customer requirement is and what kind of trends they are looking into while, while purchasing the products and everything. What is the kind of a cost they are looking out and how do I design my site. So for this you need to have a lot of data available to you, right? What kind of a data you require? You require a lot of data like what is the interest of the customer, okay? So what does this particular big data architect will do is he will design or develop such kind of an in, uh, application wherein which is going to integrate all the solutions all all the possibilities given by the customers and where in which the end i mean the enterprise and that is the flipkart could grow with good profits and everything so that is the job which he has to do over here and then what is the next thing we have we have a big data uh, data scientist so what is this particular data scientist he has to analyze and interpret complex digital data in order to assist to business in its decision making. So you should be able to know what, I mean, uh, nowadays you can see that. Uh, where do we use this particular data scientist? Digital uh, data in order to assist a business. So how do you say that? What is happening when, when I, unless I'm uh, trying to buy a, a phone, iPhone on uh, Amazon. In the bottom of that particular iPhone, I would see some kind of a data available. What is this? They say 
after i click choose a particular product or an item i get more recommendations from different other phone products also it would recommend me apart from my phone it is going to recommend me for mi it's going to recommend me honor honor phones and all this so what does it is trying to do it's trying to give me another options also so that i just not fix myself to iphone it also recommends to a particular customer saying that you have different opportunities or different facilities are also available at the same price with these particular phones and different models so that is what we are trying to do we are trying to identify identify the reviews given by different customers and also we want to place a particular data in the present application okay and the by this what does it happen it's going to increase my increase my business application and also it makes my uh, business uh, decision making very easy what exactly the customers are looking out for what kind of products they are looking out for so such kind of dev uh, uh, applications whenever i wanted to develop i go as a data scientist okay and also um, then comes uh, we will go into the depth of it not soon the problem there is a lot of it and then when it comes to hadoop admin hadoop admin means you see now you know that uh, you are all the applications have been developed now you need to have huge number of computers to be associated so that you wanted to store all your customers information let's say i'm talking about geo customers geo customers are available throughout india so geo is a part of a reliance applications right reliance company so reliance is not only into just geo uh, geo it is into petroleum it is also into uh, the marketing digital marketing like it's going to have into electronic products and everything so what do they do, do do wanted to get all the these customers together they wanted to have all the customer information from different products whatever they have it brilliant company what does it do it's going to collect all the customer base information and it's going to place it in one particular place right so when you are placing all this customer information you need to have something called cluster you need to have something called a cluster okay so what is this that is a cluster cluster means it is nothing but the combine i mean different uh, hard disk memory hard disk wherever you have different server available with the same hardware and software configured configured and you should be able to set uh, an administration kind of a thing where in which how do you manage all particular servers at the time and how do you operate them and how do you make that particular processing done in this particular server so that we call it as what hadoop administration hadoop administration and manages what does it say administers and manages hadoop clusters and all other resources in the entire hadoop ecosystem so when we talk about this we will come to hadoop ecosystem but i will tell you what exactly is hadoop ecosystem but before that you should be able to know to have this customer base information at the same place we are going to set up our own hadoop clusters okay so how do you set up this cluster how do you define a data node how do you define a name node and all that we'll be talking about in hadoop admin development okay is, is this three points clear i'll go into the next two points data analyst and uh, big data developer is this clear just give me i mean just a message one message so that i can go ahead the chat message should be okay yeah thank you fine i would go to the next one if you have any doubt you can just give me a chat message then and there yeah we will certainly uh, i'll certainly clarify and go ahead okay thank you now next one is what yeah thanks so you should be become a data analyst and analysis different types of data relationship among the data elements within a system so i told you you have different data types available because I, as i told you big data is not just a collection of a structured data it's a collection of unstructured semi structured and structured data right so whenever you becoming a data analyst you should be able to know how do you manage with this particular different types of a data and how do you set a relationship among these data elements within that particular system okay that we talk about in the data analyst one right and then the last one we have it as big data developer 
So data analyst he is going to data scientist is different and data analyst is different. So data analysis would be done only on a uh, present uh, the data which is available. You are already been uh, given uh, the previous available data and you need to analyze that particular data. That we call it as a data analyst. Data anal analyst is a data scientist is a person who is who should able to predict predict the future. Depending upon today's uh, database, today's customer database, and then you have to develop a business decision making application. Okay, the prediction should be there, I and mean, then you should be having the focus. Okay, uh, right? That is what the data analyst and uh, scientist would do. Okay, the data analyst would only analyze the data which is available. Fine. Okay. Then the last one is. Develops applications that deal with big data. So just now I told you, right? Yahoo Duck setting has told us that we should have a separate platform to store this particular big data and how do we process it. So when you are already available way to store it, so then the question is how do you process it, isn't it? So you need to, as a developer, we will write so many logic, we will write so many applications and everything to deal with the structured data, right? So when you, uh, when you write all the uh, SQL queries whenever you want to retrieve the data from a table. You say select start from EMP, you say select start from EMP where employee salary is greater than 1 lakh per month and all this. These are the, all the uh, logical uh, things you write down, right? These are all the commands you write whenever you wanted to process the data which is in a structured base, right? In the same way that the big data developer would also write down his logic whenever he is developing the applications and dealing with big data as a big data developer that is he wanted to show you how do you manage this unstructured data how do you manage this unstructured data and semi structured data and how do you retrieve it and how do you how quickly how fastly you can give the result to the end user okay that is what a big data developer would do okay so these are all the different career opportunities which are available in big data and hadoop and and i'm telling you also i mean i have been working with the big data and Hadoop since four and a half years and it's a wonderful subject and you feel like you know uh, I mean you feel uh, so interesting and also you develop these kind of applications you feel very interesting okay because nowadays we are everything whatever we're doing are related to big data only so guys I really suggest you to go ahead with the big data uh, career options okay right why should you learn big data and Hadoop because you need to have a better career and of course you have a very better salary, okay? You have a huge salary apple when you compare to the normal developers and the big companies are really hiring and you have better opportunities and big data and Hadoop is the future. Anyhow, you know that because, see, when you wanted to learn, go for a machine learning or when you want to go for artificial intelligence or you want to become a data scientist, whatever may be the platform, the backend is nowadays absolutely the big data that's it because uh, whatever you're doing nowadays is on through the net internet you are not doing anything manually previously you used to do it 10 years back everything whatever you wanted to do you wanted to get a cash or you want to pay through google pay or whatever you wanted to purchase a thing or you wanted to buy a flat or what you want to purchase a product everything is done the transactions and everything the share market the finance related ones and the garment applications, if you want to apply for a passport, whatever you are doing, everything is done through internet, through internet, right? So tomorrow, this is the biggest thing which is going to be done. So big data and how it is everywhere now, everywhere, okay? Now, the next one is, uh, how do you learn this? So how do you go into this? I mean, if you are uh, so interested in learning this big data and you want to become an you want to choose it as one of your career. So how do you go ahead with the learning path? So here we have the learning path. See that is you will be working as a developer by tester using the, the Java, Python and Ruby. Okay. And you have Hadoop ecosystem. And we will be working with no SQL database. No SQL in the sense like not only SQL. That doesn't mean there is no SQL. Okay. So that we call it as HBase and all, right? So I'll be, we'll be teaching you what exactly HBase, Hive and uh, all this. 
but before that then you wanted to become a big data hardware uh, developer as well as tester these are all the uh, op options you have you will be working with java either you will be working with java you can know if you know java you can work with that otherwise you can learn python even then you can work and if you want to have ruby even then you can work not to worry if you doesn't have a idea about about all the three nothing to worry we'll be teaching you the latest one okay we'll be, nowadays python is very 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 much interested and the one of the uh, most targeted and implemented language nowadays is python in demand is python scala and spark okay so we'll teach you that python scala and spark also not to worry about it and you should be knowing about little bit about hadoop ecosystem and no sql databases and the spark okay this is about whenever you want to become as a uh, developer then coming to the administration you whenever you wanted to become an administrator see i will tell you whenever you wanted to work with hadoop a little a basic commands like linux command should be uh, known to you that also if you doesn't know we will explain you because uh, the, the, the because the operating system on which you will be working is centos okay which is nothing but the linux one so linux administration and we will tell you the administration do is linux command and there is just i told you something called cluster management right so how do you set up your cluster connect the servers and how do you make it faster for the processing that we call it as performance and virtualization how do you go ahead with the virtualization so this is been taught in the administration part and when it comes to the data uh, analysis you have the statistical skills the data science how do you shows and expertise in r Okay, R is another language, just like Scala, Python, and all. R is another one. So we will be teaching you about. We we'll make you expertise in R. Basically, whenever you wanted to become a data scientist or a machine learning programmer, then you would really, we would really suggest you to go ahead with Python and R. Okay. So here you can find here you have data science, business analytics using R, and advanced predictive modeling in R. And data visualization using Tableau, okay? And we will be using Talent also. Talent is like the front-end tool where you will be using all the applications. And what are these big data certification courses we have? We have different. There is a chat message. I have not gone through. Okay. So here you have the certifications like. the data hadoop certification training and then you have hadoop administration certification training we have in the big data hadoop certification training we are going ahead with hadoop ecosystem tools hadoop ecosystem consists of pig hive hbase ruby scoop snow map map reduce yarn all those okay so this will be teaching you about hadoop ecosystem what is ecosystem what are these tools all that we'll discuss when we start up with this particular program called big data and hadoop certification training so not to worry about it and we'll be dealing with real time projects all the things whatever we're going to teach you will be real time with health care centers and the financial one insta insta card ones and everything all all those uh, related projects should be of uh, related to those real time projects only and we have also hands on assignments to you so that we want to test you how well you have learned all these courses okay and then we have hadoop administration certification training available where in which in hadoop architecture will be teaching you about hadoop architecture plus a separate project hands on assignments and you have apache spark certification program so this in the apache spark certification training the people are already having the knowledge about java or the python and these people uh, this nowadays is lot of uh, demand apache spark and certification one yeah yeah ab ha is see not webinars actually uh, once you when once you take up these courses like big data hadoop certification training we teach you what exactly is hadoop ecosystem and we teach you all the tools like whatever i specified you just now as i told you hbase high Easy scoop, clean. All this we are going to make you work with the real-time uh, projects as well as we are going to give you 
hands on assignments also webinar will also be there not a, not a, not that thing but in detail when you enroll yourself for big data hadoop certification then you can really learn about all this okay so then the next one is we have what is the next question there is yeah you have apache spark certification training so we'll be teaching you about spark and scala so now you would have seen there the big term called spark apache apache spark is the one for streaming streaming means it's like when you go for uh, uh, all this uh, netflix amazon prime video hot stuff they are all related to streaming only so how do you develop those applications using spark streaming with apache kafka so there is a module called Apache Kafka and Spark streaming. Using that, we would be teaching you and real-time projects, and also we have hands-on assignments. And with the data analyst, with our certification training, so we teach you about first the R language, and we'll tell you about how do you go ahead with data analytics and R, data mining techniques in R and real-time projects. And when it comes to data science certification training, we teach you about Hadoop, machine learning, and also. Which course should be taken first? Does it matter? Of course. See, if you, I mean, uh, depends upon your background. Depends upon your background. See, if you are very good at uh, the developer, as a developer, and you have already had some experience as a developer, and you have good hands-on working with all uh, everything, then what you, I would suggest you, you would better go ahead with a. that a scientist itself okay because you have good sense so you can easily learn how to machine learning and r that the transformation tools are available and real time projects you can work but if you are a beginner you are just new to the uh, you doesn't have any experience in it and you are a beginner then you would i would suggest you to go ahead with big data certification training so you will be learning about how to pick up system tools real time projects and hands on assignment okay and if you are towards the administration part Towards the networking part and the clustering, so the servers, networks, and everything, then I would suggest you to go ahead with Hadoop administration certification training. And you are also, I mean, good at the logical thinking and application development. It's better you go ahead with data analytics, with R, and, and certification training. That would be the best one. Okay. So this is how you have to choose depending upon your. Uh, I mean, anyhow, we are going to guide you once this webinar is over. you can contact us okay yeah you can contact us we give you all the information depending upon your background we suggest you the best course okay not to worry about it so what are the salient features if you join with us you, you have live live online classes hands on experiences 24 by 7 support would be there. Let's say if you don't have a time in the morning to work with your assignments and all, you sit at night, rap night 10 o'clock, and you wanted to work and you got stuck. Okay, your system is not working. Your the clutter, clutter got my uh, stuck. You got stuck over here with the query. So you raise a ticket, 24 by 7, automatically by within hours you will be getting the response from the concerned trainer. Okay, you get the solution there. And we have the real-time projects, so all the PVCs will be there. Uh, proof of concepts mostly, and your module-wise assessments will also be done. Okay. So exploring the global data. So in five years, there will be more. Will be more over 60 billion smart connected devices in the world, and 2.5 centinol. Bytes of data is created every day, and 6.1 billion global smartphones used that by 2020. Okay, so this is about the fun facts about the global data. So this is about the data which is being generated by every minute through Instagram, YouTube, uh, Reddit, and Facebook. Okay, so you can just look at this: the number of posts, how many you have, and the number of hours you the you uh, uh, YouTube users upload. 300 hours. 300 hours of new videos, okay, and the Facebook, how many users like and post, Twitter, how many times you are going to use this Twitter, all this, this is the data which has been generating day by day. So, 
So I was talking about the big data, right? When I'm talking about the big data, big data, I told you it is a it's a it's a combination of structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data, right? So when you talk about these one, IBM has the IBM has defined the big data with five E's. What exactly big data is? It has defined in five E's. One is volume because the size is being more huge. Data is generated. Just now I showed you through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and everything, right? So that is the volume which is the the audio. Somebody would be posting a just a greeting card. Somebody would be just posting an image. So there is a variety of data, and somebody would post only a text part without any images and something like that. So this is a variety of the data. And velocity, velocity means at at what speed you are processing this particular data, and is it that does it really require? I mean, does it have that that element? Does it has any value? And it's the variety of the values which have been stored in the databases. So this is about five views of big data which has been given by IBM. Okay. So here you can just see. So different kinds of data being generated from various sources: just JSON files, audios, videos, log files, emails, and velocity at which the speed the data is being generated at an alarm time. And mechanism to bring the correct meaning out of the data. So visit a valuable data, whatever you are posting, posting through for Facebook or Twitter or whatever. This does it really uh, has some value or not? And then. You have veracity that is uncertainty and inconsistency in the data. Okay, so this is what we call it as a big data. And the companies which are leveraging big data are what? Yeah, Adobe, Alibaba. dot com, eBay, Facebook, Twitter, and Yahoo. So when you just look into this, thirty nodes, nothing. So thirty different nodes in the sense like each and every server we call them as a node. And 30 nodes running HDFS, Hadoop and HBase on both the products and development. Hadoop and HBase is a, a, a ecosystem tool available in Hadoop. Okay, so that is what we call it as HBase. And here we have 60 nodes cluster. So here, even in Alibaba.com, we have different clusters available, and each node has 8 cores and 16 GB RAM and 1.4 tera terabytes of storage. So that is what the storage capacity they have. And here you have 532 nodes and 5.3 petabytes storage using MapReduce. So these are all the ecosystems of Hadoop, MapReduce, Spig, Hive, and HBase. So these people are already into that. eBay is already into Hadoop. And Facebook uses Hadoop to store internal log and dimension data sources. Currently, they are using clusters, clusters which is of 1,100 nodes with 12 petabytes storage. And 300 nodes with 3 petabytes of so, so you can just imagine the kind of server setup they have done it in Facebook, okay? And in Twitter, uses Hadoop to store and process feed, log files, etc. And it also uses Twitter for schedule and ad hoc jobs. And more than 40,000 computers running the Hadoop use Yahoo, okay? Used to support research, ad systems, and research. So these are all the different companies which are already into the big data technology. So that the big data technology is in demand. You are working as a head of admin, Apache Spark, Kafka. Kafka is a messaging service. Whatever you send it to WhatsApp applications, Instagrams, and all, and all this will be managed to Apache Kafka. MongoDB is just like a database again to us. And Apache Cassandra is also a database kind of a thing, and you have uh, uh, data science, Informatica, that is you know it, the storing of information in a uh, database kind of a thing, Informatica. Talent is a talent is a content tool, and you will be working with Hadoop developer. So these are all the big data technologies which are in demand. As a Hadoop admin developer, talent, Informatica, data science, Apache Cassandra. Mango DB, Apache Kafka, and Apache Spark. Okay, then we have. So after the webinar, if you're interested on more, you can just click on the Big Data Courses on Magna Info Tech Career Services. Did you know you can avail an additional discount if you answer the survey? Okay, so this is all about how do we go ahead and then.
So you have any doubts? You can just post me right now. I'll clarify all your doubts. I hope the video is clear to you guys. Okay, you risk man. What is your background? If you are asking me for the risk management tool role, accordingly I can suggest you. Is this clear? The Amman, you you did get all the information. Yeah. Oh, it's in audit. Okay. Fine. So if you are related to audit and everything, Magna Magna is going to give you Magna is going to give you all the details, and they are going to give you all the. Huh. Certification is also been provided by the Magna itself. Is this clear? What exactly I have explained you in the big data and hard work one, the career opportunities and all. Yeah. Any other doubts? Let me know. Yeah. So everything is done. Clear by everyone. Anything else you would like to know? Please post it. We have finding this two to three minutes of time more, so you can just ask me what exactly you are looking after. Everybody are clear? Oh yeah, sure. Of course, I'll put it as a. Right. Yeah, you can directly. You this is the one, the Magna Infotech careers. Of course, we can share you the PPTs. Will be you will be shared with the PPTs also. So this is the number. The you can go ahead with these coordinators. The contact number is nine six zero six triple eight six zero six. And the ID is MICS at the rate magna dot in, and this is a site HTTP is MICS dot magna dot in. This is the one. So the people who are really looking out for the big data developer or the big uh, data scientist, they they will be given a special attention. You need not worry about anything like we are we doesn't know about how we. Uh, go ahead with the because we don't have a background of Java or any C or C plus plus and all that. No, not not to worry. Linux. We start from the beginning. We tell you all the things in detail. We give you the assignment. You can do it from the scratch. All the assignments will be available online. Also, you can just go through the assignments. Do you have the recorded the uh, recorded Lessons also available. So for each and every topic, whatever we teach, if you are missing that particular class, you can also go through the recorded presentation, PPTs as well as the recording also that particular class. And you can listen number of times if you have a doubt. And 24 24 by 7 is also being given support. If you doesn't any understand any concept, you can just raise it email to the concerned person. They give you get back to you. They give you a ticket number so that they will tell you at what time. You will be available for the clarification of the doubts. Okay, and finally, after you do a real-time project and everything, we give you the certification. Is this clear, everyone? You have any more doubts? So we will share the PPTs also. We will ask you to share the PPTs. You can go through all the PPTs. Thank you very much. 
please give your feedbacks, queries, and the questions also if you have. Okay. So Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Prashant, are you there? All the Prashant, they wanted to share it with the PPTs and they wanted to want to look at the signing out so guys happy weekend and uh, thank you Bhavana for your yeah. Yeah, thank you Prashant yeah, thank you guys thank you for your time